watch them. Gotcha. All right, so what I'll do is I'm going to show you how to do completing the square when you have a negative in front um, of your x squared. So the first thing that I want to do is make sure that when completing the square, I'm going to put parentheses around my x terms. So that's like my first step. And the reason why I put x or parentheses around my x terms is because remember our goal is we're going from quadratic form we want to go from this form right we want to get from this form down to this form right yeah. so what we want to do is we need to get an x minus h and we need to get that squared so I'm not concerned about this K right here. This K is just going to be, or this number is just going to be on the outside. But with these X's, I want to convert them from an X squared and an X to this little X minus H squared. So what I'm going to do is to complete the square, the first thing I have to do is I have to make sure that there's nothing in front of the X. Okay. So I'm going to factor out a negative, whatever's in front of there. If there was a two, you'd factor out a two. If there's a negative one, which this negative sign is, you factor it out. Okay. So I factor it out. So now, the next thing that I will need to do is, if I look at this, now I need to get this to a trinomial, <clears throat> or I need to make it look so it's x minus h squared. And this is what we call a, a perfect square. To go for a perfect square, we need to get it to a perfect square trinomial. So what I'm going to do is there's a certain tip that we use, which we call was b over 2 squared. And here, my b is 2, because remember, it's a bx. Um, uh, shoot. Um, when you factor out a negative one, that's a negative two, right? Just stop yes. Like thank you. It's okay. You can stop me and say, "Hey, you made a mistake." We make mistakes all the so time. So, whatever, no matter like whatever you're factoring or whatever you're factoring out a negative, it changes all the signs inside. Yes. Okay. Yep. So it's like dividing uh, dividing negative one from each of those terms. So okay. I take b over two. So actually, my b is a negative. But it really, in this case, it's, it wouldn't have changed anything because mm -hmm. you're going to square it. So then your, neg your negative would cancel out. So I take a negative 2 over 2 and square it. Mm -hmm. And negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. Right. So I rewrite it. f of x equals. And what you're going to do is you're going to add this value inside your trinomial and outside your trinomial. So if we get a negative x squared minus 2x plus, plus 1 minus 1, um, yes, uh, I'll do it like, I'll just spell it, minus 1 plus 5, okay? So since these are on the same side of the equation, if you add 1, you have to subtract 1 for it to still be equivalent. Yeah. Then the key to this one is whatever you factored out, I factored out a negative, this is essentially a negative 1, right? I factor out a negative 1. So this 1 is actually being multiplied by a negative 1. Mm -hmm. So whatever you factor out, you also have to make sure you multiply that times this. So that's really like another negative. Does that make sense? Right. You kind of put this like in parentheses if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. So what I have is that's a double negative, so that's going to make that a positive 6. So I have f of x now equals a negative x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 6. Mm -hmm. Now the last step we need to do is we need to get it from here down to an x minus h squared kind of way. So the way that we learn how to, see we created this trinomial. We need to get it out to a binomial. So the, the key to this is if I do b over 2 squared to make it a trinomial, to figure out what the binomial is going to be, it's just going to be x plus or minus b over 2 squared. And it's plus if your middle term is positive, and it's negative if your middle term is negative. So therefore, I look at what's my b over 2. Well, b over 2 was a, um, a negative, negative 1, right? So if I look at this, well, negative 1 times negative 1, times negative one is 1, and negative 1 plus negative 1 is going to give you a negative 2x. So my final answer, f of x equals negative x squared, I'm sorry, x minus 1 squared plus 6. 
And if you want to factor that out, x one x minus one times x minus one is going to give you that trinomial. So all I did was I just did b over two and see what my answer was and made sure it worked with that. Make sense.